What's the haps? I'm Maroka and welcome to Rebel Galaxy! This is space opera! This is what it was pitched to me as. I I have very much got a soft spot for space opera, so yeah, I, I want in on this. I played it for about half an hour to get to grips with it, and yeah, yeah, I want in on this. So it's going to be out about in, in about a week or so on Steam, so yeah, let's uh, let's have a look at this. That flying spaceship out on the frontiers of space. I'm very okay with this. Six days ago, you received a cryptic message from your Aunt Juno, the family black sheep who you haven't seen or heard from in over ten years. The message provided the access codes to the Rasputin, a near derelict spacecraft and a relic of her younger days. Also included were the coordinates to Rust City, an out-of-the-way space station with a questionable reputation. She practically begged you to meet her there as quickly as possible. Now, after several days of travel and a few unscheduled maintenance stops, you have at last arrived. This is a place of liars, thieves. You wonder how you let yourself get dragged to such a godforsaken backwater. There you go, Rebel Galaxy. Woo! Straight in as, as in, in spaceship. We have a message coming from the station up ahead. Let's, let's talk to them. This guy speaks alienese. It's weird because I, I I spent a while listening to him before when I was played played through the, the first little bit, and it's like. The alien language has a very similar syntactic kind of structure to English, so yeah, all the stresses and breaks and pauses and things are in the same places. Mm, it's almost as if they didn't cr create an entirely new syntax and structure and other language for this. I expected better. Never mind. Uh, maybe maybe that's too much. Asking a little too much. Uh, so who are you? Who are, who are you? Tell me who you are. Aurora. Orzu, a friend of our aunt's. Back in his younger, wilder days, now he owns the bar. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go dark. I might let them speak if they were speaking a language that was understandable, but he's just speaking alienese, so sure. Welcome to Rebel Galaxy. I don't need the tutorials, I've done most of the tutorial bits. So, boosters, well, kind of, that's kind of. W is booster, but there's also like engines, sort of in system engions. Ooh, don't want to run into the minor. Uh, e to speed up, and then there's like four chunks of the bar up top. So E and Q to speed up and slow down to sort of travel in system. If you're far enough away from stuff, you can, yeah, if I'm, if I'm heading away from large objects, we can go into warp drive, traveling uh, like interplanetary. And yeah, we can blow stuff up, but I'm probably not going to blow everything up here now. That would probably be a, probably a, a poor move on my part. Ooh, careful. I am not, I'm not the safest of pilots. Uh, maybe we should just dock at the station. That might, that might help. Let's go to Rust City. Let's dock here. Shame there's no actual cool docking mechanics. That would be interesting. I, I think in sort of the other games in the genre, this kind of genre, you might, I, think, I think they've got a little more emphasis on doing absolutely every last thing with your spaceship. This one's just like, now press the button to dock, but hey. It does mean I don't get to fly my spaceship smack bang into the side of a space station. Well, I can still do that, but I can't do it accidentally while trying to dock, which I kind of probably would if I was playing Elite Dangerous or whatever. Okay, we have two turret mounts and only one turret installed at present. Might want to go buy another one. This will teach us how to buy things. Equipment bay, weapons. Uh, we need a beta turret, and we can put... What can we put in there? I think there's literally only the one turret we can buy that can go in there at this stage. Which would be the very, very basic one. Scatter turret. Yoink! Have one of those. Yep, get installed. Cool. Let's head on into. Can we go, go back? Go back. How do I go back? I don't know how I go back out of this. Can I just. Oh, escape goes back out of this. All the other menus have kind of got back and forth on that. That one kind of didn't have a back on it. That was really weird. Uh, visit the bar. We need to go speak to our man now. We talk to the bartender. Take a seat, friend. What's on your mind? Uh, any news going down? The pirates around here are a real problem. You take a hand in cleaning up that mess, the Confederation will take notice. Okay, good talk, good talk. Never care. mind, I'll see you later. Alright, let's talk to Orzu, who is our man, our main man. 
Yeah, where? Okay, so where is my aunt? She was supposed to be here. I'm seeing her in a week. Afraid she wouldn't make it back. Why'd you say that? She wanted me to give you something. What is it? Maybe I can find out from it. It's a spectre. It's an AI symbiote. Whatever that means. This is this is a sentence that made me go, "Hey, his alien language sounds very very similar." Can I see it? It's a big chunk of mystery metal. Cool. Okay. So, what can you do to me to fix up my ship? Give me an upgrade or two if I can do some work for him. Let's do some work. Whiskey's coming in, but he can't come to the station. So. Alright, here's the money. Bring the whiskey back. Let's do it. And he'll have information for me. Brilliant. Let's go. Let's go fly a spaceship. Don't want to spend our entire first day on the job talking to people in bars. Okay. Let's, uh, let's fire up the engines. I don't know what that miner's doing there. Last time I came to the station there were not miners hovering around outside it, but... I'm guessing it... Ooh, mining tug? Cool. No, no. Don't worry, I'm not going to hit it. I wonder if you... Uh, I presume you can kind of just go rogue and, like, try and destroy everything. That'd be pretty cool. And just loot them. I, I, I will. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's just speed up. I got a planet between us and our destination. You can kind of, you can kind of just see the sort of the FOV changes it speeds up a bit, which I think is kind of your cue that yes, you're safe to walk now. Okay. Let's boost out, of, boost out of the gravity well of the planet. Engage warp drives! Yeah! Now we're traveling. Woo! You know what I think has really grabbed me most about this game is, well, quite aside from the fact that visually it's freaking gorgeous, is mostly the soundtrack. It's just really, really, really well executed. Well, asteroid field and nebula stuff. Yeah, slow me down a bit. Okay, use pulse function, press control. Oh, I, I was using F for that earlier. I guess it must be bound to multiple keys. And that will mark everything. Friendly things are blue, enemies are red, valuable stuff's purple. Non-piloted mission objects are gold, and asteroids are grey. Cool. I think I, think I, just, I think I just overshot my mark, didn't I? Yeah. Not too far off, but yeah. Yeah, the music they seem to have managed to make, they've got, it's, I don't know. It's, a lot of these are like actual tracks with singers and stuff, but it's all managed, they seem to have blended it really seamlessly when you get into combat and stuff. It changes and becomes really fast paced and it's, I don't know, it all sounds great. Alright, let's, okay, let's halt engines. Let's, let's call our man. I missed his call. Yeah, we can, we can. I'm just fighting words and keep it for myself and blow a hole through him. I... I've kind of got a bit of a rust bucket at the start. I'm not entirely convinced I would be able to take him. Could have a go. I mean, I guess the option's there. I wonder if he could take him. Yeah. I'll pay up. I, uh, I, could go, I could go the way of piracy, I think, once I've geared up a bit. I think it seem, that seems reckless and silly. But to be doing that, like, first mission in the game. Same transmission. Bit of space piracy? Who couldn't get behind a bit of space piracy? Alright. Fire up engines. The boost mechanic seems to be such that if you deplete it completely, it takes longer to recharge than if you don't. So I guess it's best to run it down, like, to about... Yeah, 95% and then let it recharge. Should probably go to warp drive. I imagine it takes a long time to get there just on in-system engines. And remember, there's probably a planet between us and the station. Everything just looks great. Is it the visuals of this game just blow me away. It's maybe not... Again, can't gain to compare it to perhaps its competitors. I think the others have kind of... Maybe probably more in depth as far as they've got like more axes of freedom. This does entirely seem to be based around a, like a 2D plane. 
I'm not... Unless, unless I vastly missed something, it kind of only seems to be able to move left and right with the ship. You can't seem to move it up or down out of kind of the plane of the of the of this system. You can aim guns up and down a bit, but that's about it. Okay. Let's move into dock. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It's it's a limitation that they've chosen to simplify things clearly. It's yeah, I play I play plenty of games that are space based but two D that were perfectly fun in their own way. Not everything needs to be super crazy complex. Keeping it simple can work. Let's go talk to our man. We've got we got it. We've got his stuffs. Got his whiskey. And we can take either a deflector or a tractor beam. Deflector will be better defense, and a tractor beam is what we're gonna need if we want stuffs. I'll take the tractor beam. I want stuffs. So you wouldn't tell me where my aunt is yet? Uh, he wants another favor. All right. He stashed some stuff that needs to be disposed of. I have guns. I can do that. Let's go do that. Oh, hang on. Has he paid us? Oh, he's paid us pretty good money for that, actually. Have a look at the shipyard. You can see the other ships we can get. A little out of our price range at the minute. The hammerhead is what we've currently got. Should be this thing. Cute little thing. Tiny, tiny ship. Little corvette. Little light frigate. Nice. Very nice. Ten housing. Very cool. Dig it. Scarab. That looks a little more alien than anything else. A vanguard. Getting getting to the big end of things here. That's pretty beasty. I like that. Heavy frigate. And Manticore, I guess, is the biggest ship in the game. At least that I can buy at this station. I don't know. Maybe you can buy other stuff at later, st later stations. Four million credits. I don't have four million credits. That's got a very... Skip with thrusters kind of thing going on. Red Dwarf. I, it's not, it's not, not as red as Red Dwarf, but it, it, it does evoke Red Dwarfy imagery to me, I feel. <laughs> I like it. Uh, what else we got? Uh, we can rename the ship. Oh man, can we rename the ship? What can we rename the ship? I kind of want to call it Red Dwarf, but I feel like I should call the big one Red Dwarf. What do we call the little one? Uh, Starbug, I suppose? Yeah. It's not really a star. It's not much of a Starbug, but yeah, <laughs> there's our Starbug. Brilliant. Love it. Love it. That one's that one's a freebie. Uh, no, I didn't want to go into the shipyard. I want to go into the equipment bay. Uh, let's see. We can buy that tractor beam, probably. 4,000 credits. So, yeah, he gave us enough money for that job to actually buy the tractor beam. Might be worth buying some better, better equipment. Booster, so we can boost boost more potently. That's not a word, I don't know. Subsystems, what are we going there? Repair bots, maneuvering boosters. Wow, okay. Bunch of stuffs. Cool. Jump drive for inter-system travel. Ah, okay. Allows capital-sized craft to utilize jump gates for instantaneous inter-system travel. Cool. That's not for our ship just yet. I think we need to hang around the basic state, basic system for a while before we can leave there. Cargo hold. Ooh, have hold more stuffs. Cool. Warp drive. Uh, let's let's take a better warp. No, I, I kind of want to take a warp drive. I think actually weapons and defense are probably better than maneuverability right now. So we could take take better shields. Mark one shields for five thousand. Yeah, buy that for 5,000 credits. Install it. Might as well sell the old ones, I suppose. Hull plating. Ceramic plating is like... Wow, okay, that's... Quite a lot more hull capacity than it had. Brilliant, yep. Install, sell the old one. Deflector... Oh, we just got a... Hang on. Which deflector did we just get? No, we didn't. We got the... Oh, we got the tractor beam. Right, so I need the deflector because... I can't afford that. 4,300. I must be able to afford a better broadside? No, maybe not. A better secondary? Do I have a secondary installed? No, I have no secondary weapon. So some flat cannons would probably be worth having, maybe? At least having some secondary weapon would probably be pretty good. I don't have any ordnance. Can we... Can I even get any ordnance here? Maybe not. Okay. 
I think we're geared up. Let's we're geared up and ready to fly. Flat cannons installed. Brilliant. When's the next mission? Engines at maximum. Rev up. Engines at maximum. Let's do this. You can do a bunch of mining and stuff as well, I'm aware. And quite get to being able to do that. My main issue was once I, I did buy a mining laser before, but is that like a side quest? I guess so, maybe. I did find some asteroids, but then by the time I bought the mining laser, I couldn't remember where I found the asteroids and I hadn't marked them on my map, so whoops. That was, yeah, I should probably do that. If I find interesting things, make a note of them, I guess. Useful advice. Oh, coming through another cloud. Oh, cloud is where things are. Oh, I, I, I mean, I have a really bad habit of that. It, it says there, it's like, your ship automatically exits when you get to destinations, but I do I do have a real habit of sort of just easing off the warp drive far too early and I have to fly into system. Okay. Oh, this is where, oh, hang on. While we're at it, yo, broadside combat. Yes, I know how to do broadside combat. All right, it's um, is this an area that's marked on the map? I'm just gonna. Is that now marked? Can I come back here? I think that's marked. I want that to be marked because this is where all the asteroids are, and it would be really, really nice to be able to collect these later on. But for now, for now they want we they want to destroy the containers. So switch to turrets. And do a manual aiming kind of job. They just sort of lock onto whatever targets you're, whatever targets you're vaguely aiming at. That's clearly out of range. It says it's out of range. That much should be obvious. Come on. Stand to speed up maybe a little bit more. Okay, now we're in range. Uh oh, proximity one. What am I? What am, what am I? I was it there was a, that that big chunk of whatever debris that was. Let's take this out. Boom. Job done. Turrets are important. Yes, I know. I was just using them. They were more useful for precise things. I think we got. Uh oh. Yep. Double jack fighters heading my way. I reckon we can take them. Have a go at them first. Not taking too much damage. Probably get on board side. Let's that. Boom. Boom. A little bit Assassin's Creed, but hey, if it works. Okay, my shields are down on my left. Or port, maybe? Is that port? Would you call that port? I don't think that works against. No. Doesn't work very well against fighters. However, I think my secondary weapons are probably pretty effective there. They're down. I did get those flat cannons, and I think, I think, the secondary weapons fire by themselves. Come on, that's in range. Is that them dead? I think it was dead. Retaliator's well out of range, so fortunately, I think I'm gonna be out of range of it. Where's it? Where'd it go? I don't see it, it's smaller and more maneuverable than me. Come on, lock onto it. No, not the Retaliator. And I've lost it. Boom! Alright. Big guy. Ain't got much health. Back to broadsides. It's kind of... I, I kind of dig the naval kind of style thing. I mean, space opera and naval battles? These are like the two things I'd love in life. So, yeah, they, they, they know me. They know me. Oh, they got cargo. Good job I got a tractor beam. I can pull it in. Yeah! Mm -mm. Accelerating the yeah, big fan of uh, naval combat, as anybody who knows me will know. So, yeah, that's very, very cool. I'm not sure I've seen space battles done naval combat style, but I'm kind of okay with it. Okay, let's get it. Let's get home. Let's claim our money for our job. Something red just blitzed past me on the warp drive there. Oh, there's some more. Oh, 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 uh oh. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm out of here. See you later. 
I, I, I'm, I'm quite happy to get back into warp drive. Yeah, that's. I should, I should have avoided that. Come on, go! I didn't realize flying near an enemy in warp drive would cause them to just stop like that. Because you just stop like that. Alrighty. We're home free! There's that distress beacon again. I should probably investigate that one day. I, I still came out of warp early. I could I could have just let it auto end. I, li I like to have control over my own ship, dang it. Alright, let, let's go claim our prize. Or zoo. I did your job. Time for you to hold up your end of the bargain. I'm gonna track Juno down. Go speak with Sanda, her partner. How do you know about? How much do you know about her? I wish you a hell of a trade and made a lot of money out here on the frontier. Yeah, some people call that smuggling. Sanda moved the goods. Try and get in touch with him. He's a scabby station on the edge of the system. Mark it on your charts. Thanks. I'll check it out. You know the vibe I get from this universe is very Borderlands, actually. A little bit of me would have called it Borderlands in space, but Borderlands was already kind of in space. But it's like the Borderlands universe, but the space around it. I mean, Borderlands was typically, you know, like on a planet or moon or whatever. Pick the get, pick the location depending on the game. But it was normally set on a thing, whereas this is like the spaceships that would be above all of those planets. I kind of get it's the same kind of vibe. I like it. It's it's a good style. Alrighty, what else? Uh, do we need to talk to the bartender? We do not, I don't think. What we could stand to do is spend those 5,000 credits. Can we spend those on something fun? What components can we get? We can get better engines. They might be useful for going a little bit faster. So, 75 megawatt engines. Is that a megawatt? I guess it's a megawatt. That's a, for a spaceship engine, that seems like... Not enough? I don't know. I don't, I don't know how much energy a spaceship engine puts out, but yeah, that's going to let us go at 120 meters per second. Is that also a reasonable figure? I'm not sure. That sounds low. It really does. Anyway, we'll have it. We'll install it. We'll sell the old one. And can I afford a warp drive or booster out of that? No, not the booster. That's marked. The, the number for that one is marked in orange, which I can't help but wonder if... Yeah, it says here, trade in for 2,801 credits. So, does that mean if I sell my old one, I can immediately replace it? Is it, is it marked in orange because it means I can sell my old one and immediately trade it in for the new one? I think it does, because, yeah, that says 199 credits. So I were to... In yeah, it's, we sell it for exactly the same price we buy it for. So if I were to sell that, suddenly I'd have 3,000... Yeah, so orange means you can just swap one component out and install the other one in its place. That's kind of a neat system, actually. I like that. So you might not have enough money, but if you trade in the old one, you can buy the new one with the trade-in. Yeah, that's neat. I dig. I dig that. Yeah. Or I can do it the long way around like I just did, but I was just doing that for testing purposes. Yeah, cool. This is cool, this is cool. Okay, I think I think we're done here, because I have five credits to my name. <laughs> That's probably probably all I can do here. I need to go in some more monies. Okay. A little bit intrigued as to where that let's bring up the map again. Uh oh it hasn't it hasn't remembered where I marked that thing. I don't I don't think it did mark the thing to be quite honest. I'm not sure if it did. I'm not sure where that distress beacon was either. Oh, hang on. Distri oh, the purple was the dis distress beacon. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go check that out then. Let's go do some side questy things. I'm pretty intrigued. Engines, at maximum. Engines up. Check what that. Now it's not that far away, to be fair, actually. It didn't take that long to get there in system, but. Might as well warp it. Might as well. Looks like they fell for it. Oh, it's a trap! Oh no! No! Trap! Ah! Oh god! Gunships! Many gunships! I don't think. Oh, Christ on a bike! Uh, I'm. 
This is not good. Oh, man. Ow! My shields on the left are taking a pummeling. My ones on the right, I think, are mostly recharged. They're down, they're to come on, they're nearly down. Boom, that's one down. Where's the other one at? Let's get turned around and my shields are not holding up well on the sides. Come on. Ah! Dang it. Oh, the retali oh that's one of the big ships. Let's, let's get some speed up. Militia frigate. Oh, I got backup. I got backup. Yes, the good guys are here. Save the day. I'm being attacked by pirates. Bandits. Ne'er do wells. Boom. Ooh. Oh, he dropped. He dropped loot. The loot. Oh, can I? Can I get the loot? Ordnance fall. What? Okay. Fine. Whatever. I can't carry whatever it was. Let's blow that guy up. Boom. Okay. Cargo munitions. Can I? Can I carry that? Yep. Yoink. Take care now. I li like that the space debris is actually a genuine threat as well. Oh, God. Whoops. They, they're more of a threat, and I shouldn't have done that. Ooh. I was... Probably shouldn't go around crashing into militia. You guys okay? Sorry. My bad. My bad. There's a purple mark on the map. Is that just the ordnance? I think that's just that ordnance crate that it's not letting me have. Whoo. Sorry, militia guys. Oh, I can I can press control to hail them. Hey, hey guys. You're not going to be any trouble, are you? Hi, sorry. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of moral choice ones, I suppose. Can I do a quest? Can you help me? Or suck void, you jackbooted freaks. Uh, never mind. Cool. You can just hail militia. That's kind of neat. I dig it. Alright, let's, um, I think I'm going to wrap things up here for this episode, to be honest, but we'll head on over to that next next place next time. You know what, I'm just going to stop till you guys are out of here. You guys can fly around me, right? Yeah. Woo! Yeah, that's a, that's a first look at Rebel Galaxy. I'm probably going to play a few a few episodes of this, because I'm digging this. We'll see, see whether you guys enjoy it as well, because it's not my normal fare, but thematically... It's everything I love. So if you like this, leave a like on it, because that tells me that you want to go. You guys want to see more of this. And I feel like I'd like to. I'd like to play a little bit of this, at least for the time being. So yeah, that'll all do it for now. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Maroka, and I will see you next time. Yeah!